Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Antoine. I'm so excited to have you here. Today I want to talk to y'all about something that I read during my quiet time today. Also, can we just admire this this new piece of work? I was gifted a new Bible for Christmas by one of my sisters and I'm just in love. I will probably do a review about it on my YouTube channel because it's that bomb. Okay, but back to the video. So today during my quiet time, I was reading the book of Zephaniah and in the book of Zephaniah, there's only like three chapters, but I read the book of Zephaniah and there was a verse. Actually, there's a couple verses that really stood out to me and they're in chapter three, verses one and two, and I'm going to read that to you all. Okay, in verse one and two, it says, woe to the city that is rebellious and defiled the oppressive city she has not obeyed she has not accepted discipline she has not trusted in the Lord she has not drawn near to her God one of the things that I really like about the Old Testament and when God is referring to his people or like when he's referring to like you know certain cities like the cities that belong to him like Jerusalem for example, and I believe Judah, sometimes we'll see the word she in there. And I really love it because it's like, I feel like, I feel like the Bible is like speaking directly to me when I see the word she. So this is talking about the city of Jerusalem, but since it has the word she in there, you know, I really took it to heart. And so the more I kept reading these scriptures over and over, the more it was like sinking deep within my heart. And so when I read that part that she has not obeyed, she has not accepted discipline, she has not trusted in her Lord and she has not drawn near to her God. When I read that over and over, I just remember just thinking, I was like, I don't want that to be my story. I don't want that to be my story. And so I wrote down in my Bible, I want my story to be that she has obeyed. She has accepted discipline. She has trusted in the Lord and she has drawn near to her God. In chapter two and in chapter one, it talks about how destruction and total darkness and gloom and desolation and the day of God's wrath is coming to a people who are full of pride. And so because of their pride, God's anger is, is just is just boiling. Like in one scripture, it says, for the whole earth will be consumed by the the fire of my jealousy but God is calling us to repent and I just encourage you to repent you know if, if this is your story right now that you're not obeying you're not accepting discipline you're not trusting in the Lord and you're not drawing near to your God there is a call to repentance and that scripture is in chapter 2 uh, verse 3 it says seek the Lord all you humble of the earth who carry out what he commands seek righteousness seek humility perhaps you will be concealed or hidden on the day of the Lord's anger. It's in humility that we find ourselves being the obedient children and daughters that God wants us to be. I'm just speaking to y'all about what stood out to me, but also in verse three, the first word is woe. It says woe, okay? But it says woe to the city that is rebellious. But that first word woe, it means great sorrow or distress. And so great sorrow or distress is coming to this rebellious people. And I remember just during my quiet time, I was just thinking, I really don't want this to be my story. I really do not want great sorrow and distress coming to me because I was too prideful to obey, because I was too prideful to practice discipline, because I was too, too everything to not do what you wanted me to do. I just wanted to share that with you all. You know, like, I, I don't want this to be any of our stories, that we didn't obey, that we didn't accept discipline, that we didn't trust in God, and that we didn't draw near to our Lord. I don't want that to be any of our stories. Let's change it. Let's change the script. Let's be faithful with this call of repentance to seek the Lord, to be humble, to carry out what he commands. Let's let's do what he's commanding us to do. Let's seek righteousness, seek humility. And on the day of the Lord's anger, we will be hidden. We'll be safe and we will be secure. And if you're struggling with turning away from certain things, you know, like be honest with God. Say, I, I did this the other day. I was like, God, I really do not have the desire to turn away from this thing. Can you please help me? Can you please give me a new heart? And I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but I know God did something for me in the spirit because my heart was feeling better. My heart was feeling more willing to do what the Lord wanted me to do. Just be upfront and be honest with God and seek his face. Seek his face. If you're not seeking his face, it's going to be very hard for you to be obedient. If you're not seeking his face, it's going to be very hard for you to follow his commands. If you're not seeking his face, it's going to be very hard for you to have a heart of humility. Again, I don't want that to be my story. I don't want that to be my story. I want my story to be she has obeyed. She she did accept discipline. She trusted in her Lord and she drew near to her God. And I want that to be your story as well. And so, Lord, I just pray that over my sisters in Christ and, and anyone else who's watching this. I just pray, God, that we would obey you. That, that our story would be that we did trust in you. I pray that our story would be that we did accept your discipline. 
and we accept the discipline. I also pray that we would draw near to you. We understand that that is what pleases you. And so God, I pray that we would be faithful to follow you and obey you and trust you in the name of Jesus. I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. And I'll see y'all again in the next video. Bye. Thank you.